Welcome to Everyday Hockey, presented by DraftKings, the leader in daily fantasy sports. Use promo code THPN upon sign up for a bonus, and if you're a regular user, plug in that promo code for weekly deals. Today, we talk about the Seattle Kraken bringing in their first coach in franchise history. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Dave Haxtell joins the Seattle Kraken as their first coach in franchise history. And Dylan, I have to say, it was pretty random. Just a little bit random. Not the guy I was expecting. You know, Rick Talkett, we've heard his name swirling around the Seattle Kraken. We've heard some other names as well. Some pretty well-known head coaches. And Haxtell gets the job. Uh, dream job for that guy. No, absolutely. You mentioned Rick Talkett. And he was at, there was actually reports that he had multiple interviews with the Seattle Kraken. So they were close to perhaps bringing him in. They obviously interviewed Gerard Gallant, who was swooped up by the Rangers. Surprise, surprise, the Maple Leafs of the South. Um, but you said this is a dream job for Hackstall as he's, he's coming back as a head coach in the National Hockey League, spending the last two years with the Toronto Maple Leafs as an assistant. And I think this highlights how secretive uh, the Seattle Kraken were with this whole process. You know, Hackstall's name, did you hear that before today? Hackstall's name at all? No, not at all. Like, it was at the bottom of lists of potential coaches. I think Emily Kaplan of ESPN mentioned his name once. I, I think some people just threw his name in there because, hey, he was another head coach that's available. Well, and he was an assistant who didn't hurt the Toronto Maple Leafs by any means. No, absolutely. And, you know, I don't know if you can read into this, but, you know, maybe that's how this organization operates moving forward. Maybe we're, we're not going to get a lot out of the Seattle Kraken as far as the media is concerned. We're going to have to scratch a little bit uh, with this organization, I think. And they've brought in some outstanding staff, both on the analytics side, in the development side, in the scouting side. And now they bring in their boy, Hacks. Hacks. Can, we, can we just call him Hacks? We're, we're going to start calling him Hacks, folks, because uh, I keep, I, I mean, I keep confusing myself. I can only <laughs> imagine what you folks are dealing with. Hextel, Hextel, it's Hacks <laughs> on Everyday Hawk. You mentioned some other potential names out there. We, we touched on Gallant, of course, but Bruce Boudreaux, that's a name that I really thought was going to be... A front runner for this for this job is he you know he's he's been doing some work in the media he's been he's been traveling around still watching hockey still advising various organizations from you know the junior level up to the national hockey league i think he's just he, he's just ready to get back in and let's be honest this might be bruce Boudreaux's last run with whatever team uh, decides to hire him as a head coach moving forward you know it would have been a great opportunity just from the marketing side right for the seattle crack and you bring a celebrity like bruce Boudreaux, you know <laughs> a slap shot star that's really going to elevate uh the franchise hey, but yeah, hbo too hbo there you go there you go <laughs> Oh, man. We love you, Bruce. Hagen Dawes and F Bombs, baby. Bruce Boudreaux <laughs> special. Is that a band name? <laughs> uh, one other name I want to throw out there was John Stevens. Now, he's not a, a household name, but he's won an, an AHL championship, the Calder Cup, and he's also been an assistant coach on various Stanley Cup teams. He his name is also in the rumor mill for well was in the rumor mill for a potential job with the Seattle Kraken but still very much a coveted coach in the National Hockey League and he's making the rounds doing interviews too and you know what we're at the end of the season some teams are going to be letting go of their head coach right now some of these guys that we named they could be head coaches next year in the NHL season yeah absolutely the last thing I want to touch on Dylan is you know we're BC boys we're Vancouver Canucks guys here on Vancouver Island though we're fans of the entire sport of hockey just from that selfish fandom point of view the Vancouver Canucks finally have a regional rival I, I know they've had rivalries with the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers but that's the Battle of Alberta that's different that's not that's not Western Canada you know it's it's out west but it's not Western Canada it's not the team that's so far out of the way that I've ever, of every National Hockey League franchise and players who bitch and complain about having to travel all the way to the beautiful city of Vancouver now they have a Cascadia rival, rival just a few hours south of the border and I think this is going to be great not only for British Columbia the Vancouver Canucks market and of course Seattle Kraken market but for the National Hockey League at whole I agree and you know the Seattle Kraken much closer to the Vancouver Canucks and the Calgary Flames the Edmonton Oilers any other NHL team like you mentioned do we want to go drive across the Rockies every time we want to see Calgary and Vancouver play no but you know what we can go down to Seattle it's only a couple couple hours away we're gonna do it let's get out of those Midwest rivalries too screw Chicago screw Minnesota Seattle Kraken Vancouver Canucks that's the match to see. Absolutely. And you know, you mentioned before, it's great for Seattle too, because as a new organization coming into the NHL, you want that rivalry right off the bat. And that's what you have with the Vancouver Canucks. Not only from a marketing point of view, 
in that they're going to sell a lot of tickets, obviously locally for the Seattle Kraken and and, and in this in Washington, Seattle. But Vancouver Canucks fans are going to travel because they've never had the opportunity to travel easily into a different barn. Now, again, you got Nexus. It's only a few hours south of the border. Now, listen, that could be an issue. We don't want the city of Vancouver or their fans to burn down two cities now. <laughs> so Seattle Kraken, go, don't get to the finals and lose in game seven. <laughs> That's it for today. Tell us what bobblehead was in the video in the comments below for a chance to win some THPN merch. And we'll see you in the next video.